My love is everlasting. Ever, ever. Everlasting to everlasting. Ever, oh, ever. Girl, you make me upgrade my tactics. Oh, how long? Oh, how long are we going at this? How long are we going at this? Yeah. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course, the subscribe button right now. So, the former two-time Unified Waking of the Universe, Anthony Joshua, met with the most powerful man in boxing right now, Turkey. Alashik. Alashik himself posted this picture on X. Joshua retweeted. They said, We are waiting with a caption of, We are waiting for the result of Lucifer's Fury. Joshua responded, retweeted, and then with a quote, Patience is a virtue. Bro, I tell you right now. It is happening, bro. This is the most powerful man in boxing. This is the guy that made Fury Usyk happen. We know if Fury beats Usyk, that the man for the war, for the for the for the fight against Joshua will be huge. And this is the man that can make it happen. Do you now we we know that John Jale is fighting Deontay Wilder, but John Jale confirmed today that the rematch against Parker is still active. So basically, if he wins, if he beats Water, the rematch is still there. He can still go for the rematch. The rematch clause is still there. I think he expires October, by October. So, still a long way to go. Wow. What do you guys make of this right here? Um, Joshua fighting the winner of Fury. Um, Usyk, how would that be? Do you think Turkey Alashe can make it happen? I don't want to take on this, bro. Oh, yeah, definitely. Alashe can make it happen. Um, boxing is um, is a very greedy sport. You know, it's a sport where money controls everything. Um, you know, it's so ridiculous that I we've mean, seen money, money, AOP. Co money controls all sports, <clears throat> No, in yeah, boxing is different. No, no, no. no. Boxing money, is different. Money controls no, football. No, money no. Money, money doesn't MMA. control football to that extent. How not? No, no. I disagree with you, bro. I disagree with you, bro. How not? In MMA, in football, in M okay. in M even okay. in MMA. How money even in MMA. Let me prove it to you that money doesn't control. They yeah. still have the principles and guidelines that they follow. There is a w even if there is if there is not surplus in the revenue generation in their yeah. sports, they yeah. still follow their program. And the winners fight against the winners, and the losers are eliminated. That's not how it happens bro, in boxing. MMA are being paid, MMA UFC fighters are being paid peanuts, bro. So you can't no, come, bro. You, you, you know, you we're, we're saying two different things. We're bro, saying two different things, bro. This is what I'm saying. If Dana White, if Dana White is paying them, but he's also paying them peanuts, they don't know their worth because for them it's just like this is a, a big chance. Once they know their worth, you will see all of them like Ungano. Ungano earned over 30 million in two fights against Josh Ron and Fury. That was more than what he earned fight. Like he's, he hasn't he didn't even earn close to that all these years he was with the UFC being the baddest man in the UFC and stuff like that. And in football, for example, footballers get paid weekly. Ronaldo, for example, earned around about 200 million huh a season bro i think a season in saudi 200 million pounds a season bro boxers don't get paid weekly bro they get paid when they fight so they fight for the biggest pride and if you if if you like for example now let's take a, a look at uh, a club like newcastle who has rich rich owners okay they're also owned by the saudi now since the saudi came newcastle used to be fighting relegation bro 
They used to be at the top in the 90s, yeah, stuff like that, but they fell off. They said they, they, be, they were fighting relegation all the time. The Saudis came on board and now they're even challenging, challenging um, the big boys now. Like there is hope. The money have been invested in the club, in the team, in everything. These clubs, this is why you see the English clubs, like get our listen, a relegated English club gets paid more than a, a, a Serie A, uh, a Italian league winner. If you're relegated in uh, in the English club, you get you get more money than uh, Serie A, the, the winner of let's say the winner of Ital Italian cup, Italian uh, league. Money rules, bro. Money rules every sport. But I get your point. Uh, continue, bro. Uh, sorry to interrupt. So, um, what's it with the talks? Eh? Yeah, we'll talk about box. Uh, we'll talk about Alashik. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alashik and Joshua. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Alash say, bro, money controls boxing as a sport differently as it controls other sports. I hope what I'm saying makes sense. But, um, yes, Alashik will probably make it happen. Make it um, Joshua versus the winner of. Usyk and Fury, but I also heard there is a rematch clause, so I'm not even sure what would happen. I'm not crossing my fingers. I'm just taking it one step at a time. That's my take on it. Well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Tajagwe. Your take, bro. Yeah, bro. Um, you know what? The state, of, the, the state of Boston needed a fucking uh, revamp. Let's be honest here. They really needed a revamp. Somebody who could make these work. Because I don't know what it is. I think at some point it might have been more of a, of a money issue setting up these fights. These promoters, you know, they can only do so much with the money that they have, you know, because the, the, they got to pay for the gate fees, the revenue fees, and it, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And the only person that can actually do this is uh, Turkey Alashish. Al Al I can't, I'm not even saying the right name for this. <laughs> but it's it's the guy that can only do it. Saudi Arabia has enough, has enough uh, um, money to be able to really put these fights on, especially these big fights that are fans are demanding. Even the, uh, the, the so even the, uh, 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 Turkey Alashish, wants to see those fights it, it's been way too long man I, I believe if we didn't have this guy come in for the wilder versus aj fight we would have seen that fight happen if this guy would have been there for the wilder aj fight would have seen that fight happen not twice but three times but unfortunately this, the guy was not there you know he was in the back watching watching the sidelines now he's working with two two of the best promoters that is Frank Warren and Eddie Hunt. They finally started working together, and these fights started happening. Where, where in the world would you see a five versus a five on five? You gotta spice it up, man. And that's what exactly what he did. And the promotion, everything has been good, you know. And I, I unfortunately, and I, the the way it is, and it, it had to be done. It literally had to be done. And these guys. Uh, continuously just, you know, weren't able to actually put on put on the proper fights because I guess I would have to say it, man. The states have no money, literally have no money for boxing. Let's be honest. The states have no money for boxing, and for them to actually do this thing is phenomenal. I'm guessing he's a big fight. He's a big fan of the heavyweight division, and he want to see these guys fight, you know. And then let me take. AJ taking uh, taking pictures and saying be patient and Turkey Alashi's posting the same picture. It shows you the, the, the how invested he is, especially the heavyweight division in the sport of boxing. So I'm kind of glad everybody at the beginning, right, where uh, when AJ made his uh, debut to Saudi Arabia versus uh, Andrew Reed, for some reason everybody was making fun of uh, AJ, saying he sold out his soul, blah blah blah, man. You can't imagine how much hate AJ has gotten so far, but 
he, he had continuously led boxing into a different light. You know, now Wilder's there fighting, not once but twice, and he's been making these fights happen. I'm really excited and I'm glad that uh, that he can actually do this for the sport of boxing. You know, it just shows you that the amount of hate that AJ had at the beginning of his career was not warranted. It was literally not warranted. And I'm glad, you know, because now we're just patiently waiting. I don't know if AJ is going to be the guy who's going to take up another fight or he's just going to wait and just wait for, uh, wait for, um, two seconds to pass the two and just take the winner. For me, I'm excited for both of them and I can't wait. Yeah, bro. Thanks for your take on this. I really do appreciate it, guys. You heard it from our brother, Todd Jackway. It wasn't clear somehow. I think you were in the gym, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no wonder. But, uh, but I heard what you said. Uh, guys, stay home and super very good. God bless you all. Cheers.